Uh, so we'll start with what's the main difference between collecting sneakers now from when you first started? Y'all want to ruin my day already? Um, I mean, there's always two different types of collectors, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's guys that, I know some of the illest sneakerheads, sneakerheads that all they wear is like Stan Smith's regular color, but they got everything in the crib. Like, so it's really like, you know, those guys are into the art, you know what I'm saying? Like, them dudes will... Them dudes that are crazy. But like me, we grew up DC, Maryland, like we was fly. We love to be fly. Like I remember I think I think I was maybe in ninth grade or going to ninth grade and the the, the phone positive ones came out in the back of East Bay, 180. And we was like like I you know, we we would have every East Bay. Like, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this. And you still end up at the first day of school with the only like with the 80, 89, 99. Nikes that you beg for because you, you couldn't get the 150s and whatever. So we uh we was always into like just being fly, man. Like that was our thing. Like we just always had a thing for being fly. Like I'm a 90s baby, so you know we 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 had an appreciation for runners. Like you know the original OG uh, gray and uh, neon Air Max 95s and you know Air Max 90s and you know uh, infrareds and stuff like that. But we would go out to try to be fly. We want the girls to like how we was dressing. And in the process of that, as we got older, you know, guys like myself, we, got, we grew an affinity for like the construction of the Nike, the history behind Nike, the, um, the players that wore the shoes, you know, it morphed in from, you know, just trying to be fly to actually like, I'm a fan of Penny Hardaway. I like Penny Hardaway shoes. I like the way Penny Hardaway plays. 